Right there, off you go. Yeah, so for this Tip Tuesday, we wanted to go through uh, different funguses that you could be expecting in your garden at the moment or through your collection. So, but before I do that, make sure you like, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we hope again that you're enjoying our content. Uh, if you have any topics that you'd like us to go through, please send them through, uh, message us, and we're happy to add them to our list. So, yeah, so there's a couple uh, that you'll be probably you may well, starting to notice now, and that's black spot and also powdery mildew. So uh, as the temperatures are starting to, to cool down, especially in the night time, uh, and it's still staying quite quite damp and moist, is a perfect time for fungus to, to pop out and say hello and cause all sorts of havoc in your plants. So uh, we've got a couple of varieties here which we've noticed uh, some issues with and just thought it'd be a, a good a, a good example to show you. <laughs> Sorry, the, the horse is creeping on me behind. <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to, Harmony? I'm trying to do a video here, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, back to it. He doesn't eat some of the plants. <laughs> um, yeah, so we just thought we'd just show you, in case you don't know what they look like. Um, so we'll go through uh, black spot first. So black spot, you you tend to really find uh, your frilly, so your larger growing varieties are quite susceptible to it. So normally a yellowing of the leaves, especially down at the base, and you start seeing black spots. Hang on, hold uh, it still. Okay. Uh, hence how it gets its name, black spot. So yeah, so I would, uh, if you do see this, uh, definitely a good idea to try and remove some of the leaves uh, and dispose of them. Put them in a... a... Oh, he's eating your plants, Michael. Oh. oh, that's it. No, that's a home. Stop. Harmony, stop. That's cheeky. That was a good looking no. plant. Oh, 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 no more, no more. I think I might have to pause this and resume in a second. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no more. Oh, you naughty horsey. No more for you, mister. Naughty, you took a big chunk out of it. I want the plants. It wants to eat the plants. All right, now that we've uh, shooed the horse away and packed away the plants. Yeah, it's pretty cheeky. We can continue. Uh, yeah, so we're going through black spot. So you'll really notice it on like large growing varieties like your frillies, uh, where it's be yellowing at the base uh, and you'll start seeing black spots on them. So you can definitely remove, the, remove those leaves, put them in a, a plastic bag and just dispose of them that way. Uh, or you can burn them because it's uh, quite contagious so you can bounce from one plant to, to another quite easily so yeah um, ways to treat that so uh, we've got a few products here so you can use um, uh, Mancozeb is quite good for, for black spot and um, we've also got a new product here we're going to try which is your triforine rose fungicide as well so if you are using a product and you're unsure uh, whether it may uh, burn your plant or cause some other issues just try it on a little part of the plant uh, rather than just doing your whole collection or your, your garden, just in case you get uh, a bit of burn or some other issues as well. So another one is powdery mildew, and it, it is quite a nuisance of a of a fungus. So you'll start to see, we've used mancoseb here. So if you do notice some of our plants have got, you know, looks like dirt. Um, it's just mancoseb that we've used in the past. So we've, we've just done that to the whole nursery just as a preventative, as we've just started to notice it around. So it can start off as... It looks like uh, little milk spots, I suppose. Kind of looks like the, the mancozeb residue here. Uh, and what will happen then is it starts to kind of turn into like um, edema and it leaves like a scarring there. Uh, and just it will eventually... It can you see that? I was going to say, just hold it still. Elsie, just stand still, darling, because it keeps wobbling around. You can see that. There's okay, like yeah. really dark spots. Yeah. Uh, and that's the scarring from, from the fungus. So it will, over time, the plant will grow out of it. So it, it, there's no... You don't need to worry too much about it. It just kind of looks a bit, uh, a little bit ugly short term, but uh, but that's okay. So yeah, you can use definitely uh, use your mancozeb on that. Works quite well. Um, uh, Triforine is meant to be really good as well with a low residue, so not as noticeable as well. Um, so definitely, uh, there's a bit of maintenance going through autumn. It is a good time to try and remove all the you know the lower leaves that are kind of on their way out. 
because oh, my to apologies. prevent everyone's going to get seasick watching this Elsie. To prevent uh, the fungal issues, it's good to have good ventilation. So natural ventilation. So if you're removing all these lower leaves, you're allowing a lot of airflow at the base of the plant, uh, which can help prevent that as well. Uh, you can also use fans if you can, uh, if you, you know, in a if you've got a little mini greenhouse or something like that, uh, that's fine as well. Um, but uh, yeah, they're, they're the two probably funguses to look out for at the moment, um, especially all the way through winter as well. They can be a bit of a pain. Uh, if you are using a fungicide, make sure you do re read the, the required PPE, so protective personal protective equipment. So I can't even say it. Um, if it doesn't say it on the packet, uh, just jump online and search for, for the product and it should come up with something that you use. So very important to look after you, your health first. Um, and, and having the right safety measures there uh, in case it is something that's um, a little bit potent. But uh, yeah, they definitely do, Maker's Herb definitely does work quite well. Um, and, and that's it really. So hopefully you found that uh, helpful. Um, to definitely go through your, around your garden or your collection and just inspect for those couple funguses. Uh, they, are, they do spread through really easily from all these spores, so it's good to get onto it early. Uh, and then just follow the directions of when to reapply again. Uh, and then once, yeah, kind of winter's over, um, spring comes in, the, the temperatures start to pick up again, uh, then you probably won't um, have as many or any issues with the fungus until the weather cools down again. Or you just get long periods of wet, high humidity um, days. But as soon as you see it, best to act quickly. Otherwise yep, it best can to get onto it really quickly because it really can actually fast. go through and it can almost kill your plant, really. So uh, good to get onto it really as soon as possible. Treat it. Uh, otherwise, yeah. It's and everything around it too. Everything around it because it spreads through spores. So it can be from wind, from you touching your leaves. Oh, and now he's eating your <gasps> string of dolphins. Yeah, he's cheeky. There they go. Um, you say so from touching the plant and touching another one can... can uh, transfer the spores across uh, when you're watering as well or from rain that can transfer the spores around as well and infect other plants as well so very important to not just treat the one that's infected but also do the ones around Daddy. as a preventative Daddy. Uh, and that yeah darling I know I'm gonna shoo him away in a second oh my goodness sorry um, keep going and, and, and as that a preventative. should hopefully help there so yeah hopefully found that helpful sorry for all the distractions uh, any questions just uh, yeah send them through and I'll get to them as soon as as soon as I can. But, uh, yeah, have a great week. See you. Oh my goodness. What a naughty horse. This is the harmony aftermath. No. We were a string of dolphins.